Hey, my name is Jobby, and welcome to this month's Fail Box. Fail stands for fan mail, and at the end of every month, I take a look at what you guys have sent me to my P.O. Box, which is closed. And if you guys missed my last Fail Box video, pause the video real quick, links in the description, or get out of my house. As I mentioned in that last video, I have so much stuff that you guys have sent me over the months, so I'm not gonna open them all in one video. Just like last month, I'll be taking a look at five random letters, so I dropped one, three random bigger envelopes, and four five random boxes. And from the boxes that I picked for today, we're in for a pretty big video. Also, make sure you stay till the end of the video. I've got a special box to open. Yeah. Our first letter comes from a Cyrus Smith. And they're from California. This letter opens refreshingly cleanly. Yeah. Ugh. Standard combination here, a letter and fan art. Let's take a look at the letter first. And because I might cut around some of the longer letters in my edit, for the sake of time, nothing personal, here's the entire letter on screen right now. Dear Jobby the Hung, how do you do? Do you watch a lot of yeah. I have a few questions to ask you. Number one, do you watch Dragon Ball? This might be my third time making this clear publicly, but I have never read or watched any Dragon Ball media. I suppose I didn't have a real childhood, right? <laughs> the only anime that I watched when I was little was Pokemon and Assorted Hentai I downloaded from LimeWire. Number two, will you be doing a review on the Reveltech Woody that was sent to you in your last fail box? Technically, I'm supposed to be reviewing everything that you guys have sent me, so... Yeah. Number three, in your next Drabi the Hong vid, can you draw Shin Godzilla? Drabi the Hong hasn't been a thing for a while, but it will be most likely at streams. Keep an eye out on all my social media for that. Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. Links in the description. To go along with this letter, I drew a picture of my favorite fighters in my favorite game, Super Smash Brothers. Hey, I like Super Smash Brothers too. Fight me 1v1, bitch. Sincerely, Siraj Smith. P.S. You should watch this anime called My Hero Academia, Boy, I am fully caught up with that shit. I haven't seen the movie yet, but I am looking forward to the next season. PPS, I want to This one doesn't have a name on it, but it is from Toy Hacks, which is where I usually get all my stickers. And it's addressed to Jobby the Schlong. A classic and borderline overused nickname, so I'm assuming this letter came from five years ago. I opened this thing and it's stuck to the contents inside. That's no good. Here we go. All right, what do we got? got here what appears to be a sheet of either water transfer or dry transfer autobot decepticon decals i'm in the house should be helpful for future third party figures pair of promotional cards tfcon already passed i'm sorry i didn't go i just don't get out much what can i say and finally a bag of various stickers i believe that's what that is according to a really small engraving on this this is supposed to be markings for power of the primes optimus stickers for power of the primes optimal optimus yep i guess that's what all these stickers are for power of the primes optimal optimus which i don't have thank you mystery sender or maybe this was sent by toy hacks themselves who knows i'll make sure to put this somewhere. Our next letter also doesn't have a name on it, and they're from Florida. Cool little drawing on my mask there. Few pieces of paper, letter, and what looks to be two pieces of fan art. Once again, here is the letter on screen, and I gotta say, really nice handwriting. Hi, Jobby. It does suck the P.O. box is closing, but I understand. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year. Well, that shows us when this letter was written. DeviantArt Zeta Magnus 103, YouTube Zeta Magnus 101, Twitter at Zeta Magnus 101. One. I suppose this guy's name is Zeta Magnus. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at your fan art. There's Revenge of the Fallen Megatron interacting with my Megatron girl, which I should probably get to drawing more often, huh? Really like that. And the second piece of art here... My god, that's fantastic. You know what? Another one for the wall. Welcome to the Jobby Wall, Zeta Magnus. Our next letter comes from Raul Herrera, and they're from Texas. A lot of papers here. Can't really tell which one's the fan art of the letter because there's so much lying paper here. All of my footage got lost because the fucking Canon camera doesn't record over 20 minutes at a time. So what I'm gonna do right now, you're gonna see me talking as I am right now and I'm gonna put the audio with this video but you're not gonna hear what i'm saying right now i'm gonna cut off this audio that you're currently hearing
My brother watches your vids, but he is not a big boy, but he is a big boy in size and weight. 210 pounds, 12 years old. There's the letter in the back. Yo, what's up, Jobby the Big Asian Dong? It is I, Faison Boy. I'm 23, and here is some Gucci art. I've developed three stages of cancer just by reading that intro. Thanks, anyway. P.S. It's me, your adopted son from Africa who is starving. P.P.S. I don't know my religion. P.P.P.S. I stole this pen from the bank. P.P.P.P.S. I like drawing your lolly cards. I also drew Destiny 2 characters. Big Texas boy. Holy crap. For some reason, reading that forced comedy of a letter just zapped all the energy from me. I don't know what the hell's happening right now. Here's a redraw of that Starscream girl picture that I drew a while back. And again, another redraw of my Megatron girl. And the last holy fuck. I can't show this on camera. You're really the kind of people that enjoy my content? Thanks, Raul for simultaneously flattering me and also wishing that I never existed. And now, time for our three random bigger envelopes. Axel Neko from Michigan, what do we got? Fairly long letter written in nice, tiny handwriting. Dear Jobby, this is Axel Neko. I absolutely love your work since 2015, since your review of the Super Chogokin Rathalos. I've been watching your vids back when I was 16 years old, but now that I'm now 20 years old, I'm now an officially considered a big boy. That is crazy. Crazy. I am some people's childhood. P.S. I have a Twitter that some pictures that I sent you, which is at AxelNecoKitty, no space, and an Instagram, which is AxelNecoKitty also. We've got a sheet of lime paper with some high quality doodles there. That is fantastic. Mamma mia. A beautifully sketched out last night Optimus Prime. Drawing of my Optimus Prime girl. Very rough sketch here, but it is beautiful. We got a nicely drawn wind blade here. I'm not sure what mobile suit this is here, but it looks Looks like a variant of a Sinanju. And finally, uh, we got borderline demonetization here. Holy crap. Amazing artists we got here in Axo Neko. Please go follow them on Twitter. And of course one of these is gonna go on my wall. Come on. Our next large envelope comes from no name here. And they're from Texas. Tiny katana there. Another toy sword here. And the Lego Batman, which looks like he was dry brushed a little bit. A little penny there, which I'll use to buy my dinner. Hello, Jobby Kun. I'm 12! Ah! I've been a fan of your videos for as long as you have been uploading, and it was the custom-painted Zaku video that led me down the spiral of cancer. Damon... Sure, you... Questions. Number one, what is your opinion on Bumblebee? If you're talking about the character, I love the character, of course. If you're talking about the movie, I really like the movie. Number two, what happened to that one perfect grade Zaku that you got to my closet, along with a lot of all of my other fail box items? Number three, why is... Why is he among the other jobbies in your who will know song? That's up to your interpretation. But I must in this world carry on. Number four, what is your favorite meme currently? At Nan and Thanos' ass, I don't know. Number five, what is, in your opinion, the most overrated, underrated anime? Not Oni Chi Chi. Uh, let's do overrated first. Overrated anime. Dragon Ball? I don't know. <laughs> I can't really call anything overrated fairly. I mean, if you like an anime, you like it. I can't take that away from you. I decline to answer that. Underrated anime, though. Um, Psychopaths. Number six, what are the names of all of your cats? Uh, if you guys don't know, I live in a house with six cats in my goddamn house. My dad's a crazy person, I'm telling you. But I love them all because we're a Thai family. The majority of our cats don't even have actual names. We just have these weird little nicknames we give them based on a physical physical trait. If you are Thai, you probably know what I'm talking about. We got Mama because she's the one that birthed all of these damn cats. We got Anio because Nio is like a Thai onomatopoeia for meowing and that bitch can't stop meowing at night. I lamb because she has sharp features. Lamb is sharp in Thai. Tao because Tao is gray in Thai. Tam Tam is just a cute way of saying dam, which is black in Thai. And last but not least, Kamo, the one with an actual thought out name. Kamo was named after a tokusatsu character called Spectre Man because my dad is a big OG weeb from the 60s. Kamo and Tam are are the only boys if that matters and they're all good cats i love number seven do you think king of the monsters will surpass og godzilla as your favorite i have high hopes for king of the monsters i hope it's really good i hope at least it's better than the 2014 one i didn't hate the 2014 one but it could have been better number eight have you seen <laughs> iron-blooded orphans yet 
Nah. Number nine. Read this one after you see my drawings. All right, we'll save that question. Let's see your drawings. Uh, for our first one, we got some uh, communist <laughs> propaganda. <laughs> Beautiful Barbados drawing here. RX78-2. That's reminding me of what I have done. And a really creepy and well-colored Shin Godzilla. That is great. For your last question, how many kisses do my drawings get? <laughs> <laughs> Damon, keep on drawing. You're clearly a developing artist that is on the right track. I've seen 20 year olds who can't draw as good as you. And our final bigger envelope before we get into our boxes. Hayden Hofer. And they're all the way from Canada. Dearest Jonathan, have a good day. Hope you enjoy. And at the corner, we got a certified big boy, but there is no proof or detail, so I'm just gonna take your word for it, yeah? First item we got here is an issue of a comic book that I don't think I've heard of. It says it's from the New 52, Batman Revolt. I should give this a read in my spare time. I'm kind of a Batman fan, can't you tell? End of Evangelion on DVD. I highly appreciate this, Hayden. I don't know why I get excited when I come across Evangelion products. I, I f fucking hate this franchise. <laughs> and finally, we got Batman and Mr. Mr. Freeze Sub-Zero, a movie that I haven't seen yet, which I think I owe it to myself to watch. Really cool gifts here. And now, time to move on to our boxes. Our first box comes from an Eric Sherper. And they're from Florida. We have a letter, and I'll just read this first, because he said so. Dear Jobby, I know you've got a lot of packages, so I'll keep this short. You're an incredibly talented and funny guy who has entertained me and so many others for years, so I wanted to return the favor by entertaining you. The game I send is called Danger the Game. It was designed by me and published late last year. Huh. It's a storytelling game about bizarre situations and the improvised rescue plans you concoct to save others. A lot of love was put into it, so I hope you and your friends enjoy it. If you know anyone who might also be interested, they can grab a copy on Amazon or check out our site, origamiwhalegames.com. I also included two good dumb figures. They aren't much, though I hope you enjoy them anyways. Philip Blackwell. Thank you so much, Philip, and if any of you guys are interested, go ahead and check this out on Amazon. Danger the Game. Check out their website as well. Our next box is extremely lightweight, barely feels like there's anything in here, and it's from... Chris Chavez from California. Here's the letter. Hello, Flemmabi the Zhang. What the fuck even is that one? <laughs> I've been watching your videos ever since your Not Cosmos review, and I've loved them ever since. I am not a big boy in age, but I am in size. I'm referring to height just so you know. I have some questions I would like to ask. Why did you choose a Batman mask? <laughs> well, the truth is that the original mask was a gift that I got from my ex. And that was around, I think, four years ago now. I don't want to get too much into detail, but I just thought it looked funny on my face, so I decided to wear it. And once the strap on that original mask just snapped, I bought a new one of the same style. And this mask, basically, she bought it on, like, the swap meet in Thailand or something. It was, it, it's, it's like an off-brand mask. It's just funny. It's just funny. There. What has been your favorite figure to review other than Gao Gai Gar, the Monster Hunter Frame, Armor Girl, and Neka Goji? Three excellent figures that you just mentioned there, but uh, a figure that I enjoyed reviewing more than those gotta be the Masterpiece Dinobot. Can't wait for the next Masterpiece Beast Wars figure, which I may or may not open at the end of this video. Just wait a minute, don't click off yet. Yes! Number three, do you actually live with your parents or did you move out? I'm still stuck with them, man. That's all I will say. Number four, how did the GG die? He's already a ghost! In the Jobbyverse, ghosts die twice. Number five. I finished Gridman recently and I was wondering what were your thoughts on the ending. I found it a little weird and off-putting. A lot of people said that. I love the ending of Gridman. The last final shot, it's such a perfect ending. If you do some research on what the original Gridman was, it makes complete and total sense. Honestly, it elevated the show, in my opinion. I won't get into any spoilers there, but if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Watch. S -S -S -S, S S S S S S Gridman, if you haven't already. Have you ever considered reviewing media like TV shows or movies? It would give you an excuse to watch all the Godzilla movies. I don't really need an excuse to watch the Godzilla movies, I just need time. But as for reviewing TV shows and movies, for sure I've thought about it, but everything that I do that's not a toy review, fails horribly. It doesn't fail horribly, but it just doesn't do as well as my toy reviews, so there really is no reason to do anything other than toy reviews. EXCEPT on a potential second channel, subscribe to Jobby the Song just in case, because I might post secondary content 
there. What do you think of your sons? Diamond Bolt. Oh. New style of videos and of him reaching 100,000. Oh, man. I'm really happy for Diamond Bolt. He's progressively getting better and better at his videos. And if you haven't seen Diamond Bolt, I recommend you go check him out and subscribe to him too, man. Invest in him before he gets big, you know? <laughs> big congratulations and here's to 100,000 more. All in all, I hope you never stop reviewing these curses upon wallets because I will never stop watching your reviews. Sincerely, Garrix1009. I have a Tumblr where I post toy photography, Ger1x1009. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate the kind words. I appreciate your questions as well. A lot of you not big boys are actually more mature and polite than the actual big boys. I don't know what that says. It says a lot about our society, doesn't it? And this is what he actually gifted me. Excellently painted piece of styrofoam. This box hailing all the way from Canada Ugh, is from David and Christopher Nabrotsky. Where do I even start? We've actually got a letter here. I'll have to read that. Oh, two letters. Let's take a look at that first page. Hey, Jobby. Greetings from Ontario, Canada. My brother and I are 26 years old, and I've recently became a subscriber to your channel. And my goodness, the joy we get from your content can't be described. Our top favorite reviews are all your masterpiece Beast Wars, MP36, Perfect Effect Beast Gorida, and Mega Doragon. And we are proud of you for sticking to what you are doing and how far you've come along. We also have to say you've got quite the talent for singing and we hope to see more of that in your future content. I would sing more but you know copyright claim bots and all that fuck off. You are a true comedian and you're going to go so much farther than you already are. Don't ever stop no matter what anyone says to you. You're awesome Jobby. Thanks for all that you do. We will see you on your next video. <laughs> oh man and this last line. You guys are so nice that I'm gonna break my rule here and read this. Review more Gundams and swivel on. Sincerely, Christopher, Cobra, and David, Delta, The Twins Corner. Thank you so much for your kind words. That is, that hit me right there. And what is this second paper then? Uh, it's a list of the items received. Classic Rodimus with Vance Project Protector and Side Arm Upgrade Set. Mastermind Creations Atur Beta, the Decepticon form of IDW Drift from the comics. 2001 Robots in Disguise Skybite to complement your R.I.D. Megatron of the same era. Cybertron Leader Metroplex, now you have both tall titans of the Cybertron era. And the wrapped item we think will be... Your highlight of this box. Hope Masterpiece Dinobot is your couch companion as you enjoy each episode of Nostalgia. Just from that description alone, I think I know what the fuck this is. Oh my goodness. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Oh shit. Beast Wars the Completed series. This, I guess I'll see you guys in another month because I'm definitely going to watch this. And just to check the merchandise a bit, here they all are. Oh, there was one last thing on this letter here. What does it say? P.S. David K. Sign the inside of both DVD cases. Have fun. What? I've got David K.'s autograph. That's fantastic. If you guys don't know who David K. is, he's the voice actor for Megatron. This has got to be the highlight of the video, right? This is thumbnail. This is thumbnail. This is the my, my wife's boyfriend gifted me a, the Beast Wars Complete series. Our next box is quite big, and it is from... Oh! Bob Matrix. Let me tell you about Bob Matrix, man. He's uh he is one of the reviewers that I've seen that uh directly inspired me to make a toy review channel of my own. It's an honor, Bob. Thank you. Damn, he just gifted me the whole Bumblebee line. <laughs> We've got a Megatron, even though he didn't appear in the movie. Optimus Prime. Hot Rod, again, did not appear in the movie. Tiny Barricade and Bumblebee. More Bumblebee. Even more bu- this, this is so much Bumblebee shit, man. <laughs> Dropkick. More of these little guys. And finally, another Bumblebee. I got a feeling you were just trying to clear out your own storage, right? <laughs> uh, but that, that wasn't all, folks. That wasn't all that was in this box. We have a third-party Transformer Sea Spray. That looks fantastic. More fans toys. A cup. And finally, we have a fan toys Rouge. Oh, you know this is definitely gonna get reviewed. Mamma mia. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna take a look at all those Bumblebee figures, but I will definitely review those fan toys. 
toys. Thank you for contributing, it's crazy that one of my direct influences just sent me a bunch of his shit. And now for our grand finale. And it is from... Mm. Also bought Matrix. Bought it, bought it, bought it. Uh, what? Damn, boy. That is a big boy. I better find a way to review these bigger Transformers because, man, I do not want to let them go to waste. Thank you all for your generosity, and thanks for sticking with me this long. And if you liked the video, leave a like, give me a comment, let me know what you think, and subscribe for more Failbox videos at the end of every month until I run out of stuff. I'll see you next time with another toy review, and hold, whoop, hold on, that extra box. What could be in it? Alexa! Play the Beast Wars theme. Yes! <laughs> <laughs>